rental car of the week is a 2023 Dodge Challenger RT, which, no, I'm sorry, GT, my mistake, uh, Grand Touring, which just means the cheapest one, the stripped down one. And I've driven these in the past and I felt like I couldn't see out of them. And the visibility in this is great, way better than the Camaro. Uh, I'll be interested to see what the 2024 Mustang is like because I feel like the visibility in those just keeps getting worse and worse. But it was there in the aisle and I thought, let's see where the Challenger is now. So come along with me, won't you? I really, uh, so far first impressions, I really like the car. All right, highway speed, we're doing 65 miles an hour. Not bad for road noise. Listen, it's not bad. I think it's quieter than the uh, Camaro at the same price point, but with two less cylinders. Um, yeah, pretty good. Acceleration from 60 to 70 is pretty good too. stuff really it handles well but it sure rides nice <laughs> not bad Pentastar V6 not bad so your typical can't see anything in the engine compartment not exciting Pretty great trunk space. You got a couple big suitcases, a bunch of groceries, a couple bags of golf clubs. Way better than the Camaro, for sure. Pretty nice wheels for the base model. The interior isn't super plasticky. Um, I love the gauge layout. The screen could be a little bigger. Um, shifter's pretty cool. Paddle shift works pretty well. Tons of headroom. Seats are nice. Back seat, not usable by normal sized humans, really, but really roomy. Uh, if you have over a size four, five foot, it's not going to fit behind the seat. Nice soft materials everywhere. Really impressed with how the interior has evolved over time. Best part about the seats are great. Outside. Holds the you in place. Super probably comfortable. Get damaged. I mean, it's no pretty good clearance, but little yeah, chin spoiler splitter thing, pretty high off the ground. Um, pretty good ground, ground clearance. Most curbs you'll clear, but I could see it being an issue. Uh, like I said, the paddle shifts were pretty quick, quicker than most, quicker than the Camaro we drove just a little while ago. But the keep your key in your pocket, you know, to get in and out and start was nice. And you get CarPlay and Android, whatever. A ton of headroom. What it lacks in backseat room, it definitely makes up for in headroom. Very comfortable. This is why you come to the party. This thing is so awesome looking. I can't get over how they've been able to keep the same basic body style for this long and it looks this good. Overall impressions. I really like this car. It's pretty amazing for about 32 grand you can get something with over 300 horsepower. It's a big it it's a big car. If you're not into big cars, this isn't the one for you. The Camaro felt quite a bit smaller than we reviewed a little while ago. I mean it almost felt like I don't want to say Civic size, but that's what it felt like. It felt like a small car. The road rough, it was noisy. This thing just floats down the road, super comfortable. 
Road noise is pretty good. We're on a concrete torn up section of the road here in California, so don't let this road noise uh, influence your, your uh, opinion. But, and also we're rolling 19 inch rims, big wide tires. It's gonna get a little bit of, bit of noise, but on a normal road, it's fantastic. Why I chose this section of road to film this part? Well, I'm almost to the airport, so I need to get this done. But overall, I would own this car. I like this car. I'm sure the V8 versions are way more fun, but they might not ride as nice. You know, I'm sure the mileage isn't as good. I think this gets like combined in the low 20s, which, you know, for 300 horsepower, that's not bad. But if one of these came along at a good deal, absolutely I would pick it up. It's really good looking. I know they haven't changed the style very much, but I would pick it up in a heartbeat. I would probably find that cool wide body kit that's on the Demons and definitely needs stripes. I mean, this car is begging for stripes. It's begging, begging. Uh, the all black is pretty great though. I, but if you're gonna have a Challenger, you gotta get one of the cool colors, right? Something that just pops. Anyway, all in all, I like the car. Pretty good bang for your buck. I have no idea what the reliability is. This thing has 10,000 miles, which as a rental car, you know that it lives a hard life. I have not heard one squeak or rattle anywhere in it, which is pretty impressive. That's all I got. Stay tuned for the next rental car. Who knows what that'll be? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you.